What's up, guys? Another weekend out here in Arizona. Me and the homie Kenny working on the right-hand drive this weekend. Um, pretty much this week, I had the owner go get me the fuel fittings I needed so I could run the fuel lines. And uh, that's what we're working on right now, uh, working on the fuel lines. So we're going to go ahead and get the old fuel pump taken out right now so we can uh, put the new fuel pump in. It's got a Walbro 255 now. And uh, we're going to start that right now. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to start that now, but what I haven't told you yet is we already ran the lines for this car. So we're not running the old fuel lines anymore, and um, I'm not running the fuel pressure regulator in the engine bay. I'm going to run it inside the car, so I want to be able to run the line inside the car somehow. So we end up finding a pretty clean way to do that. And I want to show you how we brought the line from inside the car to outside the car and how it's going to go to the gas tank. All right, so this is where we're going to mount the fuel pressure regulator. And then uh, there's the fuel return going out the bottom. And then the fuel feed. Fuel feed and the fuel return go into this channel in the car right there. And it goes all the way down this way. Then it comes outside the car, underneath the car right here. Here's where the lines come out at. We just end up making a hole right there. And then these lines will fall into the old channel where the uh, other lines, the brake lines, uh, old fuel line, old return line. Um, I'm just gonna cut this probably about right here and then just remount this up and then the lines will just run inside that and go to the fuel tank. Oh my God. Look at that thing. Yeah, boy. Delicious. Looking trash. Ugh. Gross. Is that thing full? It does got some fucking. It's got a couple gallons in it for sure. Yep. Gross. Yeah. All right, guys. As you can see. We're not going to be using the fuel pump or the hanger, or obviously we weren't going to use the fuel pump already. Duh. We're not going to use the hanger. It's got a bunch of rust on it. It's corroding. It's falling apart. And uh, the inside of the tank looks like garbage too, as you can see. So we're going to have to find a different tank because I don't really got time to go take this, get it cleaned out. And I'm just going to see if I have another good one. I have a couple laying around, so we're going to check those real quick, see if any of them got a good hanger and the inside's actually clean and not just looking like garbage. Yep. Oh, that one's worse than the other one. That ain't gonna work. Pretty sure this was the uh, EG, uh, the tank out of the Texas EG. Um, that car also hasn't ran in a long time. And holy cow, look at that thing. That thing's toast. Can't use that one. I think I have one more tank at my house in my backyard. So I gotta hop in my car, go down the street real quick, and. Uh, Go check that out. Hopefully, fingers crossed that this tank is good. I'm pretty sure it is. It's the one that came out of my four-door. That was also like six or seven years ago when that last ran. All right, so on last week's video, I showed you guys that I was running the harness in the in the firewall using the K-Tune plug. And I said that I was going to use a, the bulkhead. I was going to, in the hole next to it, I was going to put a bulkhead in that for the fuel. So I already am doing that. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. Came out pretty sick. It's pretty clean. And when it goes inside the car, it just goes straight to the fuel pressure regulator. So, um, I love it. I want to show you guys right now. All right, so here's where the fuel feed is right here. And then I just have that running down underneath the water line right there in the harness. And it's just going to basically run along the harness. And it's going to go into the firewall right there. When it comes inside the car, it runs across the boxes over here. And then ends up coming over here and feeding right into the fuel pressure regulator. All right, guys, Kenny's getting this gas tank taken out for me. The homie, Phoenician underscore Kenny on IG. Homie always helped me out. Then they're there doing the dirty work getting this old ass tank out. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the other tank. All right, so here's the other tank. This is the one out of the four door. Um, got the bolts off of this already, and this thing already, uh, this thing's looking cherry. So even has a Walbro 255 
still in it from when uh, it was in the four door. Um, looks way better in this one. Socks obviously bad. We got a new one. Uh, inside this tank looks good. Go go ahead and just empty the rest of the gas out of that. Put the new wall bro pump on this. Hanger looks all good. Mint, cherry, new sock. We're good to go. Put that inside the Tegra. See if we got some fuel pressure. Well, Kenny's getting that uh, fuel tank out. I'm gonna go ahead and install this fuel pressure uh, gauge on this K-Tune fuel rail. It's a cool little feature that K-Tune has. Um, it just mounts in the center of the fuel rail. And uh, so we can go ahead and put that new tank in and hook all the lines up. Go see if this thing got pressure. Alright guys, new pump installed, Walbro 255. Gonna go ahead and get that back inside the car and hook the lines up to it. Alrighty, new fuel pumps in, hangers all tight, new lines are on, tightened down. Uh, just need to hook in the electrical and we're ready to go there and tighten the rest of the fittings on the rest of the car. Kenny and I jammed out on trying to get these lines tightened up on this uh, right hand drive. Um, all the fuel lines are tight right now. Also got a chance to hook up the Hasport sub harness and uh, got the new gas tank installed, new pump installed. Uh, we ain't got four gallons of gas for the car. So we're gonna go ahead and put gas in the car right now and then uh, probably put a battery in it and see if this thing primes. Look good to me. Looking crispy under there. Hardcore bay brake lines. No leaks. All right guys, so we have no clue what's gonna happen right now. This is our first time putting power into the car with the sub harness hooked up and the ECU hooked up. Um, no idea. We just, uh, the owner wanted us to make sure we're recording the first time we put any kind of power to it in the ECU to see if it primes. So that's what we're gonna do. I have no idea if it's gonna prime or not. Be super sick if it did. Um, we'll see. Looking like we got any priming going on. Please come on. Hmm. So on that last go around, uh, apparently I forgot to tighten down and add a ground to the motor just because there's just so much going on or whatever. Uh, you know, put those on and we're going to see what happens. Oh shit! Hell yeah. Yeah, fuel pressure, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's all about. Woo! Boom, boom. Yeah. What does that fuel pressure say? Uh, like 55? Eh, 50 would work. Whatever. 50, no, it's at 50. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it would probably, if it had power to the battery, it would probably start to crank. Power to the starter? Yeah, power to the starter. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Hell yeah, guys. We got fuel pressure, so uh, we're that much closer. You see a leak? No, I was going to tell you to prime it a few more times. Yeah. That's all that matters right there. That's gonna be it for the weekend, guys. That's uh, that's good for us. Uh, unless we do any work on Sunday, but I got so much other stuff to do this weekend. Uh, this is uh, big steps right here. Fuel, this car hasn't had any fuel run through in years. You saw the fuel pump and inside the gas tank earlier, so um, horrible. Uh, got the new tank in, new lines, new return, new fuel pressure regulator, all the lines are tight. 
fuel rails in and we got 50 psi of pressure so that works for me like subscribe tell your friends we're going to keep working on this stuff uh i really want to see this car run this week it's going to be super exciting to see it running i can't wait to drive it thank you guys oh yeah it's going to start <laughs>